As with all scoring keys, we deal with both simple scoring and complex scoring. And in my opinion, our most complex score is the rank score. So think of a use case like a, a DISC test, where you want to see if someone is a D, a directing, an I, an S, or a C. Maybe something that's common to a lot of users is the Myers-Briggs, where you want to see if you're an INSJ or an INTJ. Uh, those values are driven by rank. So based on those individual scores, what was your rank? What ranked the highest? So I'm going to click on the rank score, and it is a difficult score. So don't, uh, this is not for the faint uh, at heart. So rank, uh, we'll call it rank disc. And let's pretend like we're doing a disc test, uh, just because a lot of people know disc in this space. Um, over on the right hand side, you can select the score. So if I want to rank the score, we'll call this DIS uh, because we're only going to do three scores. And let's say this is my D value, this is my um, I value, and this is my S value. And I want to see which one is the highest. I would sort scores descending, meaning uh, from high to low. I could also go from low to high by clicking on ascending. Uh, so to add those in, I just say, I want to add a score. I'm going to add three of them. And I'm going to say, I'm going to call this one uh, highest. Uh, you can call it really whatever you want, but I'll, I'll try to make it as clear as possible. And I'll call this middle, and I'll call this low. And really, how you name it, as with all other scores, doesn't really matter. Uh, but we allow you a lot of flexibility with what you do here. So I've established I want uh, from high to low these three scores. I want to know which one is in position one, position two, and position three. Here's what we've named the score. Here's what we've named the variable. And the description is just for our information. And what we want to come out of the score is based on this result dropdown. Do we want the value of what comes out of each of these? Say the value for rank 1 is 17. Uh, that might be something we'd use in the scoring key. Do we want to use the score name so we can display the score in some type of output text? Or do we want to use the variable name, which is annotated here as highest, middle, low, because we're going to use it additionally in other scores. So then we can use that variable uh, in other places, like if variable rank 2 greater than 7, then show this text. Uh, so you can do a lot with that. So this rank score really does probably four or five things at the same time. Number one, it allows you the sort order. Number two, it allows you to find what type of result you're trying to pull out of this ranking. And then uh, number three, it can also use those values, etc., uh, that, that come out. If scores are equivalent, you can just say, I want, just want to pick one, or I want to concatenate those results. So maybe I want both uh, of the ones that uh, rank number two uh, because they tied. Uh, so uh, score equivalency can also be an additional um, value that you look to. And it kind of gives you a little hint to look at those scores on the right. So the scores on the right drive all this. So I think this is our most complex score, but if you're doing ranking, don't overthink it. Uh, we have a little rank score here that can help you do that.